Hey traders, in today's video, we're going to talk about a very important topic and topic which uh, you probably do not want to hear, a topic which we probably will not get a lot of views, but it is a very important topic and it is about how do you overcome trading losses and losing streaks. It's something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. They don't like to confront the fact that they are losing, but we feel that as, you know, as so-called mentors, we're trying to help you that, you know, we really address this because you, you really need to understand how to deal with losses and how to you know, read your, your own matrix about whether your strategy is working or not working. Okay, we don't expect a lot of people to be watching this, but uh, for those of you who are watching it, we really want to help you. We really feel that this is a very important video. So we are really creating this video to help you become a better trader, not so much for the views. Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about how do you overcome trading uh, losses and losing streaks and if you stay to the end I want to give you a bonus uh, you know risk of ruin calculator and also a way for you to see all your key matrix so if you are serious about trading you need to be paying attention to your matrix and in this video I will show you how to do that at the end of this video okay so make sure you stay to the end if you are still watching you're still watching this video good for you that means you're serious right Please give us a thumbs up, right? Please subscribe to our channel because we're really doing our best to serve you to help you become a better trader. So I want to start off this video by talking about how do you overcome uh, trading losses and losing streaks. Okay, I just want to talk about um some tips or rather I uh, want to talk about the importance about backtesting, right? So when it comes to trading losses and losing streaks, you need to always ask yourself what is the expected outcome of your trading strategy? Now, you will not know this if you do not do your backtesting, right? If you, if you do not take the time to test these strategies that, you know, uh, we teach you or a strategy that you learn from some other YouTube channels or, you know, some other person that you learn from, you will not have this data if you do not backtest. And that is why it's very important that you spend the time to backtest so that you can, uh, you can answer this kind of question such as, what is your win rate? Do you win maybe 50% of the time? Maybe you win 60% of the time? Uh, what is the number of consecutive losing trades that you have seen uh, when you backtest? Do you see a maximum of 10 losing trades in a row back to back? Or do you see 12? You know, what is that number? You need to know. And more importantly, you also need to know what is the maximum drawdown. Meaning that, you know, if your account is at 1,000, you started at 1,000, what's the worst case scenario? What's the maximum uh, dip in your equity from the high to the low? Again, I will show you how to actually get all this uh, matrix easily. Just need to install something and you can get all this matrix. But uh, that will be uh, for the at the end of this video. But the first thing I want you to know is that you need to know your expected outcome. If you want to overcome your trading losses and losing streak, you must first know whether your trading losses and losing streaks are expected or not. Because if they are outside of your expectations, then you do not you want to stop trading the strategy. But if it's still within uh, the bounds of what you, you are expecting, then you should carry on to trade it. So this is very important. Knowing this will help you help you stay true to your trading system because you know that, okay, this is expected. There's no need to panic that, you know, you can stick on with this uh, trading strategy. Okay. By the way, we have a free day trading guide for you. If you have not downloaded it, just make sure you download it. The link is in the description. As always, make sure you backtest it so that you know what is your win rate. Eh? You know, what is your win rate with the MPE trading strategy that we teach. Do not just take what we teach at face value without, um, you know, backtesting it and see whether, you know, it works. Okay, because uh, trading can be personal. So just because it works for us, it may not work for you. So that's why you want to back test. Now I want to address the question about, uh, do you stop trading the strategy or continue? Because I'm sure you have that thinking. Let's say, you know, you just took 20 trades and out of it, you, 10 of them were losers. You had 10 losses back to back. So you probably think, should I be stopping this? Uh, you know, should I stop trading, you know, uh, is the system broken or is it, you know, just part of the uh, drawdown? That's a very common question. So I think the first thing you want to ask yourself first is, uh, what does your back test result say? Is it within the boundaries of your expectations? If it is a yes, then uh, chances are you can still carry on trading the strategy. But the other question you want to ask yourself is, are you discretionary trading or systematic trading? Okay, if you are trading, you know, a discretionary strategy, then my advice is to take a break because discretionary trading is really dependent on your emotional state. It depends on 
you know, your state of mind at the moment in time. So if you are emotional and you're not thinking straight, you're going to make bad decisions. So there's really no point in trading. There's no point in forcing yourself to take trades. Okay, do not do things like a revenge trading, over trading, but just walk away, right? If it helps, withdraw the money in your account so that you will not be tempted to trade. Okay, that always works for me. Just withdraw the money so that uh, you cannot trade. You have no money in your trading account. Okay, but if let's say you're doing a systematic trading strategy, okay, I have written over here. If you are doing a systematic trading strategy, for example, maybe you are using a trading robot or you're using an expert advisor or you're using some form of algorithm that trades on your behalf. Okay, you want to continue trading, but the caveat is that you want to continue trading as long as it doesn't exceed the expected drawdown. Because you know that there is no execution problem. You know that since the strategy is being automated, it's fully automated, then it cannot be a execution problem. But when it comes to trading discretionary uh, trades, it might be your execution because maybe your state of mind, you're not, you know, you're not thinking straight, uh, you lost a lot of money and you are emotional. So when it comes to a systematic trading strategy, you want to carry on trading. But just make sure that your expected drawdown, it's still, it's not exceeded. Now, some questions to ask yourself when you are, you know, in a drawdown, okay, this is very important. Ask yourself if you are having the wrong expectations. You, you look at your backtest results, if you know that your backtest results have, for example, 10 consecutive losses, and you know that you should be expecting 10 consecutive losses, but um, right now you are only at 8 consecutive losses and you want to give up. Ask yourself if you are having the right expectations. Do you expect to win 100% of the time? Okay, if you have the wrong expectation, then that is probably why you know you're feeling down. Are you trading with capital that you cannot afford to lose and that's why you are unwilling to accept the losses? Okay, that's a question that you need to ask yourself. You just need to ask yourself if you are risking too much. Are you risking more than say 3% uh, per trade, 3% of equity per trade? Or are you trading a system that you didn't backtest? You know, you just take something that, you know, maybe something that we taught, it could even be our strategy. You watch it on our YouTube channel and uh, you didn't test it and you just start trading live money with it. So these are the questions that I cannot answer for you, but I just want you to consider these questions when you're going through a drawdown. You need to ask yourself why you're feeling that way. Because when you ask yourself why you're feeling that way and you can get the answer, then you can adjust your trading. You can say, oh, okay, I realized that I'm risking too much. I should adjust my risk. I shouldn't risk 5% per, per trade. I should perhaps risk 1%, okay? Only when you ask yourself these questions, then can you actually change uh, your trading, uh, you know, how you approach your trading. So hopefully that's use, useful to you. Hopefully, uh, you know, that gives you some insight as to how to deal with trading losses. Right now, I've come to the last part of the video. Hopefully you are still around. I want to show you how uh, do you get your risk or ruin calculator. Okay, this is very useful because it will help you determine what is expected of your trading strategy. Okay, pardon um, this uh, typo over here, but uh, the risk of ruin, how do you use it? Okay, I have a screenshot over here. After this, I'll walk you through how do you get this table and all the other metrics such as your win rate, you know, uh, what's your average win, average loss and all those good stuff. But how do you use the risk of ruin calculator? Basically, you can see over here, you have the... Uh, you have a table over here that says, okay, what is the probability of you losing 10% of your trading account? Okay, that means let's say you have a $1,000 trading account. What's the probability of you losing $100? In this case, based on this trading strategy uh, that, I'm, that I, I'm looking at, you can expect to have a probability of 1.71. That means there's a probability of 1.71% that this scenario will happen, okay? And it will require 28 losing trades. Now, this is based on the historical risk that you are using. Of course, if you, you, know, you go into revenge trading or you over trade, then uh, this is not going to hold true, okay? This is based on uh, what you, the amount of money that you risk historically. Okay, but it's still a very useful calculator because it tells you at a glance that, okay, for this strategy, I should not get a 30% drawdown. If I maintain my risk and, you know, everything is as per usual and, you know, I follow the rules, I should not see, you know, I should not see a, a loss of 30% because the probability is really low. It's, you know, it's less than 0.01% and it will be, require 83 consecutive losing trades. So if my account hits, 30% drawdown, then I know that this strategy has stopped working. 
So that is the power of the risk of ruin uh, calculator. So let me show you how to get this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to my FX book. Okay, this website over here, and you want to follow the instructions to connect it with your trading account. So let me just change uh, the screen and I'll show you how to do that. Just a moment, let me share the screen. Okay, so right here, I'm at the uh, my FX book, and this is one of the main reversion algorithm that we will be releasing soon. Uh, this is the algorithm that we have been working with, so I'll just use this as an example in this case. So right here, you can see uh, I'm at my FX book. So what you need to do is you need to log in, sign in, create an account, and just go under the portfolio and follow the instructions to install um, this platform into uh, your trading account. Basically, you want to connect your trading account with uh, MyFX book. And once you do that, uh, you should be able to see your statistics over here. And you just need to scroll down and you can see your risk of ruin. So earlier on the screenshot that you saw was actually taken from this. Okay, so that's how you get it. And you can also have all these other good stuff, you know, like what's your balance, what's your drawdown. You can see the drawdown, you can see the monthly, you can see your gain, uh, even how much you pay in interest and, you know, all these uh, details which will help you become a better trader. So this is a very useful, uh, you know, software or very useful platform and it's free of charge. So definitely make sure that you check this out. It's totally free. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, just let us know. But um, if you follow the instructions, uh, it should be quite easy to install. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something. Just a gentle reminder, if you have not downloaded our free day trading guide, make sure you download it. There's a lot of value in that trading guide. Uh, so make sure that you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, right? Subscribe to our channel because, you know, we, we are on a mission to help 100,000 traders. And, you know, with your help, if you know, you, you're liking this video, it helps the algorithm to, to push out our content to more traders just like yourself. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, our team will get back to you. We'll do our best to address your question. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.